people think we can sing? Oh, <clears throat> bad start. together we're so excited and um, we're gonna be answering some of you guys' questions while making these bomb t-shirts please don't judge the level of creativity here I am not good at this stuff but you know we're just gonna have some fun and answer some of you guys' questions so what are we gonna do with these t-shirts um do you want my t-shirt or I was kind of hoping to make mine for a fan ah Okay, okay, you're right, so I won't make you mine. We can make these shirts for, we just give them away. Bet, let's cool. do it. Let's. I'm scared. I'm so not creative. I'm actually apologizing in advance to whoever gets this shirt. What do you need? Some ideas. I'm just gonna make the most of this shirt. <laughs> no one's gonna want your shirt. Hang it up or two. So. <laughs> Justine's best color to wear, in my opinion, yellow. My best color to wear, in my opinion, pink. So there's some significant meaning here. It's not gonna look good, but it's gonna be great. <laughs> were you good at arts and crafts when you were? Did you ever go to like, cause I would do this at like camp and stuff, like church camp. I mean, I did it, I wasn't good at it. Glue that on <laughs> you don't know how to use the glue? Try this one. I better. I don't know. We'll see. All right, your first question is, what's Justine's favorite color and why is it yellow? <laughs> um, so actually, Justine's favorite color is not yellow. She looks great in yellow, but it's not her favorite color. Her favorite color is actually brown, <laughs> orange. Orange is brown. Okay, it's green. <laughs> you play too much. <laughs> Everyone keeps thinking my favorite color is yellow, but it's not. Sorry guys, it's green. Which is why those green those green hearts were a really nice touch. Alright, any road bumps in the real world that you didn't anticipate? Yes. So I was excited to get out here and do normal things with Caleb. And then come to find out, Caleb's not the best texter. So... <laughs> The communication in the villa was way better. I'm not the we worst. Didn't, we didn't have to text, we could just talk in person. He's good at talking, communicating in person. But when it comes to his phone, you need deliverance. Yeah, that's fair, that's very fair. I am not the best texter. I actually work off of my phone. So, you know, so if you're on your phone all the time. Oh, I'm on my phone, like, tending to business. I honestly, when I call Caleb, his answering machine has, like, his job in there. He's like, thanks for reaching Caleb. And at first I was like, did you give me a work phone number? <laughs> See, she's trying to play right now. You're so disrespectful. I was like, tell me this isn't even your real phone number. It was, yeah, for the record. Does this look like a J or a G? I don't even, can't even read cursors. I don't even know. <laughs> What that is. Can you write in the script? It's not even on the script, so I definitely know what you're talking about. How different is it to see each other outside of the villa? Are the feelings and connections stronger? Honestly, dating outside of the villa in person is a lot easier just because we're able to do other things, different things we're not used to. Um, I enjoy it a lot more. I think it's more fun, especially like having met your family, Hanging out with your friends, you know. Like, I met her best friend from fifth grade yesterday, you know? That's really cool. Who's, who's this? <laughs> That's me, I don't know. Kind of looks like you, that it's hair nobody. looks like yours. Stop copying my colors, you're literally doing exactly there's the same thing. There's a set this. amount of colors. I there's blue, you. there's pink, there's red. Listen, girl. Trying to look like me? Trying to do the best I can. Who was your favorite One Tree Hill character? Ooh. I really like the tree. So when I actually first watched it, it was Chad Michael Murray. And then when I watched it back years later, it was Nathan. I was like, Chad who? What do you guys have in common? For example, do you both like the same sport? Well, we both played the same sport. Or I ran track, you ran track. How many clothes did you bring to Love Island? 
Um, <laughs> Justine, tell him. <laughs> Let him know. Tell him. I brought so much stuff. Honestly, I ended up having to leave things behind because it wouldn't all fit. Because we'd pack what we needed, and then on the way back, we got. You look lost. You okay? I'm just like right out of the table, you know? Um. Yeah, so on the way back, because we got some stuff while we were in the villa, and I couldn't make it all fit, so I had to leave some things behind. Um, and then coming home, I think I had like six or seven loads of laundry to do. I spent like a week doing my laundry. I had a lot of stuff. Caleb had like two things. <laughs> yeah, I brought like, <laughs> I brought a week's worth of clothes. I didn't think I was going to be there that long. So Believe I brought, in like, yourself. I brought a backpack and a carry-on. I didn't have that much. Um, <laughs> Literally, when I was packing for you for Casa Amor, I was like, where's all his stuff? I was <laughs> I mean, like, is this it? Yeah, I really don't have, I didn't have a lot of clothes. So, shout out to Wardrobe for hooking it up. <laughs> all right, so, like, I need some room, you know? You're like, you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you just comparing <laughs> table share over here? Sally. Caleb, what's the favorite color and swimsuit Justine wore in the villa? Um, my favorite swimsuit that Justine wore was the blue swimsuit she wore during our pool party night. You know what I'm saying? The blue really? had a little strap over the things, you know what I'm saying? It had a little gold. It was fire. Very fire. I'm just saying, I had some other good ones. You've had so many, it was very hard to choose just one because they're all so good. Yeah. But since I had to choose, I chose that one. Yours was a little, I like the when you wore the pink and white stripes. I like that one too. So cute in those. Thank you so much. Do you have any hidden talents? So I can actually play the saxophone. You're a liar. Alright. Dang, you're the, <laughs> call me out like no, that. No, because I actually <laughs> wanted to know the answer to that. Um. Um, oh, I played the cello in middle school. That was, I didn't even want to do that. My mom made me, but I did it, so. I played the violin. I played the violin for the cello, so. Really? Yeah. All right. I don't know what else to do. Can you help me? Baby, no. <laughs> give, me, give me some ideas. You see an artist at work right now. Have you experienced any hate towards your relationship? And if so, how did you handle it? I think some hate I've experienced, um, which hasn't been a lot, I'm super thankful for that because that would be really tough to handle, would be, um, you know, my intentions with Justine have been questioned, like even on this Q&A, people are like, oh, do y'all actually like each other? What? Stuff like that kind of sucks. I'm like, I don't know. That also just comes with it when you sign up to put your life out in front of the world. Mm. But not cool. Do you know how long it's gonna take you to glue all of this? You should've been doing it as you go. She just, look, she's trying to tell me what to do. I'm not trying to tell you it's what to do. It's not working. Caleb hates Don't me. worry. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just trying to help you out. One thing I, I want y'all to know that in life, there will always be haters trying to keep you off your grind. But you just gotta put your head down and make that shirt however you want that shirt to be. <laughs> I saw someone asked us to record a cover John Legend, all of me. Why though? People think we can sing? Oh. <clears throat> Bad start. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Oh, no, I really cannot sing. Just sing to Michael Jackson, you kill that. Oh, I can do Michael Jackson. John. You love it. What was your favorite cartoon growing up? Ooh. I loved Arthur, so like Arthur, I, sure, so I well. can still watch Arthur. I was really big on Jimmy Neutron, Dexter's Lab, Samurai Jack, um, Ed, Ed and Eddie. That was like a big one. I like Recess. Is that a cartoon? Recess one. Does that count? You're a little bit older than me. You know what I'm saying? You got Come on. I was watching different shows. What were the 80s like? <laughs> You're so disrespectful. We watch the same stuff. Although I don't know any of the stuff that you said. I think I know Jimmy Neutron, that's about it. She barely knows Jimmy Neutron. Love that. Oh, dang, I forgot the E. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't glue you it. You know what, maybe it's a good it. thing you didn't glue it. How's this looking? 
cute, right? That looks really good. I like the little nipples you put on the... <laughs> Not nipples. The nipples you put on the flower. It's just really original. <laughs> Are you waiting for the glue? Yep. There's one right here. I know. You want this one? Mm-hmm. Because I have it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Two more, two more nipples and then you can have it. Who is more emotional? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Me, okay? <laughs> Gosh, we know this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Why are y'all asking this stuff? <laughs> y'all see me cry one time. No, There's nothing wrong with being emotional, but yeah, your girl over here definitely takes the take. Wow. Take I'm a crier. I like it though. It's cute. You're a cute crier. Did the boys share clothes in the villa? <laughs> Yes. I mean, I've seen pictures of me and Carrington and me and Johnny wearing the same shirts. We always traded shirts. It was always like a who wore it best. Yeah. My favorite shirt that you wore was that blue and white striped one. Who was that? Was that, that was Connor's. Connor's blue and white striped shirt that Connor wore, I wore, Johnny wore, Everybody Carrington wore, wore shirt. and Calvin wore. That yeah. is probably the most worn shirt. I on think the show. you look you look really good in that. You look good in like baby colors, like baby blue, baby pink. Well, thanks, baby. <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> uh, probably Justine. Since she's a little slut now, I guess Justine, my celebrity crush. Good answer, good answer. Turn that up. <laughs> that being said, Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> yeah. if you see this. Michael B. Jordan, if you see this. I know Creed was acting, so I know the hands ain't actually like that. <laughs> Honestly, I'll be surprised if this shirt even survives the male trip to <laughs> get to wherever it's going. These were some good questions. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Caleb's always like, please don't ask anything crazy. I don't know. I just don't say don't ask anything crazy because I'm just not going to answer it. But like, when we went live, people were joining. No I was one like, saw it. Please don't do anything crazy. Oh, yeah, our live was a lot failure. was terrible. It wasn't a failure, because it was fun. It was fun. We got to talk to some people. But I think that's I think that's why it kept failing. When we'd add people. Yeah. It's okay. That was fun. Can you tell now that it says Queen? Queen, yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm good. I just wanna know who this guy is. Uh it's gonna be me. Can you do a little crown above it? And we're done. <laughs> These shirts. <laughs> Seasoning your shirt. Ooh, so it's the next morning here and... The shirt's actually dried really nicely. Yeah, the shirt's dried well, but we can send it, but I'm actually concerned <laughs> at the quality of my shirt. Here's I feel like that's not gonna really make anyone happy. With that being said, I think that along with the shirts, we're gonna send some exclusive JLo personalized gifts. Yes, that's a much better idea. For yeah. Sure. yeah. So yeah, check the description. We'll have um, a few more details on that. We'll give you some some great stuff. Maybe yes. not from Caleb, but for me for sure.